Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Solo React Talk. Tonight I'm going to be reacting to Freeman's Mind, episode 63 and 64, made by Accursed Farms and narrated by Ross Scott. Remember, if you want to check out my previous reactions, the playlist card will be at the top. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as Accursed Farms YouTube channel, the links are in the description below. Yes, last week uh, with episode 61.5 and 62, uh, well 61.5 that was a special episode, <laughs> uh, but 62, uh, Dr. Freeman has finally entered into the border world. Uh, I, 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 would, I would say that the border world is a pocket dimension between two universes or two worlds, you know. Uh, where the aliens actually come from and uh, the between universe that connects to our earth and you know our reality so I think it's like somewhere in between and you know the aliens are conducting their experiments in that pocket dimension uh, because I don't think that's their terrestrial homeworld you know I don't think so that has to be like a experiment uh, place where they you know do their experiments and uh, create portals that connect them to Earth. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't think it's their terrestrial homeworld. Um, but yeah, Dr. Freeman is in their border world and he is trying to, you know, find out what happened to the survey team uh, as well as defeat the creature that is opening up portals to Earth. Um, the place is beautiful, you know. If you see it from a distance, it's very beautiful. Looks like you're in a nebula cloud. Very beautiful. But, uh, you know, the platforms and the research stations that are there, they look very... Like, they look like biological creatures that are used as experimental labs and stuff like that. So it's very gnarly, very nasty looking. But, yeah, Dr. Freeman is there. He's trying to figure things out. And let's continue. Three, two, one, go. Man, these gargantuas, though, wow. What's this guy's story? He came here and he died. The end. Uh, I think I'm in the wrong place. What is that? Uh, whoa. This isn't. Ow! Fuck! Don't distract me! I've got. Uh, Man, is everything here trying to kill him? Other things on my mind. Would it be too much to ask for this thing to ignore? What's that sack? That's just dangling under it like that. Oh gosh, that's nasty. For me, yeah, yeah, it would. That should scare it off, huh? Maybe I killed it. It's just man, it's running fast. It's limping its final moments now. It's faster than the gargantua, I think. Ooh. No, that's not really limping, huh? This should help. Bye. Did I miss? Here, let's do this right. I cannot think of a better use. There we go. But just in case. It's not dead. Let me in. Let ah! 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 I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I lied. I'm freaking out. Die. 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 Die again. Die more. Woo! Your terms are unacceptable. Ah! Is it spitting out some sort of acid? Ugh, oh gosh. I quit shooting your white spiderweb hell mill. Ow! Thank you for your input! That's very insightful! I don't know what I would do without it! Where are you? 
I don't need to hear your opinion. I already know what it is. Oh, boy. What a day, what a day, what a day. Well, that thing ran off. That's about the first good thing that's happened since I got here. So what's the story on this guy? Was he killed by the monster, or did he just fall? You know- I think he got killed by the monster. I don't think he fell, necessarily. Well, I don't know if the portals that you guys go through, you know, they teleport you in a safe area. I'm not entirely sure about that. But even if he did, you know, teleport and uh, like he was floating uh, downwards, like, you know, like he was teleporting from a high area and he was just, you know, descending. He also has like the jet packs like you, right? He has the jet thrusters. So I'm sure he would have been okay. So I'm assuming it is the aliens that killed him. Yeah. That other researcher was hanging half on the ledge. Like he was just fucking dumped there. I have a theory. We may have sent a lot of researchers out here. Like hundreds. We didn't really know where to point the teleporter. So we just guessed. I'm not seeing too many because look around. The odds of hitting one of these islands out of this gaseous cloud is kind of slim. Oh, is that another teleporter? Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, ah, ah! Christ. Hey, this isn't a teleporter. It's just a puddle. The water is so interesting. It's got like this purplish color in it. And it's making some sort of sound. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. What are you looking at? Stupid aliens. <laughs> no. Better than the other way. But yeah, I bet it was raining researchers all over the place. That would explain why there have been random batteries and first aid kits lying around. They probably got scattered in the falls. Oh god. Is there no other way around? <sighs> Man, the game developers really did a good job making this place look so... alien. I mean, it's... it's really throwing me off. <laughs> Just like the border world, everything here in this border world is just so alien. Well, I'm out of rockets. I guess I'll go with the MP5. It has the grenade launcher. I don't understand how that thing is still alive. I've taken down tanks with the firepower I blasted into it. That thing didn't look like a cyborg. I didn't see any armor plating. Hey, what was it that guy in the lab said? There's some sort of creature, I'll know it when I see it. Well, I found it. So if I kill it, does that mean they'll teleport me back? That'd be nice. Wait, who? They as in the scientists on Earth or the aliens here? Because I don't think you'll get any cooperation from the aliens. And I don't know if the scientists will know that you've killed the creature. So probably you'll have to figure out a way for yourself to return. Or by yourself, you know. Yeah, somehow. No, they won't. What's this? Oh my god, the rocket's in here! This brings me closer to my comfort zone. But yeah, they're not gonna teleport me back. This was a one-way trip. Just like all the others. Ah! I didn't expect that. Oh, shit. Well, now would be a great time for it to not charge. That sack under its legs is so distracting. <laughs> it's nasty. How is this thing alive? I need one of those mech suits like an aliens where I can just throw it off into the void. And these trees, I don't know if they are trees, but whatever they are. What, what, what are they meant for exactly? You know, because they were also attacking Dr. Freeman. So, hey, this place... Anything here is just a potential threat, you know? Wow. We need a lot of mass, though. This thing really throws its weight around. Yeah, that's good. You just stay there. I have a present for you. As the ambassador of Earth, I wish to give you this gift on behalf of my people. Actually, I have a few. You can have all of them. It's what my planet would have wanted. I'm sure of it. But more importantly, it's what I want. I guess I'm not really the best ambassador, come to think of it. But hey, I'm all you get. Okay, now just keep standing there. This is a very important part of the ceremony. We have to get the photos and attend the luncheon. Alright, say cheese! 
Diplomacy breaks out. No, stay there! You'll ruin the shot! Is this a joke? What's happening? Ah, ah. Nothing's immune to explosives! Oh shit, I'm out! Is this a god? Am I fighting God? Is this what God looks like? Blah! This isn't what I pictured at all. Yeah, leave me alone! I'm a sinner, whatever! I'm not ready for your truth! Did you hear me? Oh, you're gonna throw things at me. Fine, I'll throw things at you! No, no, don't! No! Theologists don't know what they're talking about. None of the major religions cover this. Not even close. No, 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 no. Ah, I don't like where this is going. I'll eventually run out of ammo. But you'll ah, ah. But you'll never run. Like, is this thing the mother of all uh, head crabs? You know, the creatures that connect to your face. Is this the mother of them? Like the queen or the brood mother or something? Because it looks similar to it. Um, just far bigger. And it has that sack that's carrying baby creatures inside of it. I couldn't really tell what they look like. But I think they are like the head crabs. Just very small. Yeah. Hmm out of being an alien a wise man once said jesus tap dancing christ you know i have a new theory i think instead of teleporting me maybe the scientists just blew up the universe we found a way to do it we were really motivated but since i was wearing this suit i survived and that's why all i see are other people wearing this suit and the laws of reality and everything else just got scrambled a little bit. Oop. It's possible. I'm not ruling that out. No, that can't be right. Then my weapons wouldn't still be here. What? Oh, hello. Oh, wait, that's right. Sorry. I'm a little out of it. Hold still. Ow! Yeah, I'm pretty sure the universe still exists. That's kind of too bad, because the alternatives... What's this? Rockets! I kind of hope I don't need these. They're giving me nothing but bad memories. Oh, pad thing, huh? That's convenient in a pain-in-the-ass way. Ow! Ow! Don't touch me! I'd burn this whole place down if I could. And is there really no other way besides this cave? This cave? <sighs> hey, that rock's levitating. It's not even spinning. All those explosives didn't cause any air currents? You know, I got these rockets off the deck, guys. Maybe they're just dummy rounds. After all, if we had hundreds of researchers falling from the sky, you don't want to equip all of them. That's a waste. Yeah, those scientists aren't going to teleport me back. I mean, for starters, I'd beat the shit out of them. I might kill them. I don't know. It depends on what they would say. <sighs> well, so far, so not dead. <sighs> Fuck bubbles. Oh, it's running! Good! I like- Whoa, kinda slick. No, I'm sliding- No! Oh, that's right. Low gravity. This is still shit. <laughs> God, get off my face! You're like hopping leeches! What? Enjoying the show? Hey, I've got some left! May as well use them, right? Oh, that was a good one! Hey, I've got one more! Yeah! Oh, fuck. Stay at your side! That's your side! Stay at your side! Shit, shit. Oh, did I... No! Yes! No! God! Stop it! Right! They can't see! Where? Ah! Yeah! Get me out of here! Anything! What? Oh, there was a portal. Okay. Wow. <sighs> At least he killed that creature. He killed it and yeah, he 
escaped from that horror show. Different, maybe. Whoa! Ah! Don't fall apart on me! Shit. No! Ugh! Oh, you want a piece of this, huh? Well, I've got some for you. Here, take some home with you. What are the manta ray aircraft doing exactly? Looks like they're firing on the surface of this. <clears throat> um levitating or floating object i wonder what's going on what's happening here trying to confuse me yeah get out get down not even reacting yeah keep your distance shit thud yeah there you go that's more like it the hell are these things hustles of the dam the land's rejecting the aliens which it should <laughs> More of them? Splat! Now that's a good alien. Well, I will say this is better than where I just came from, but that's not saying much. Ugh. I don't even know. Are these air manta ray, um, you know, part of the ecosystem in this uh, border world, or did they come with the aliens? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Because it looks like they're attacking this structure, you know? They're attacking it like white blood cells or something. I don't know. Like this thing is just intruded in their uh, ecosystem and it's threatening them and now they're attacking it. Or it's something else. I'm not sure. I don't understand how a small island could support something that big. What's in there? Ah! It tried to suck me in! Well, as the only zoning inspector here, I'm condemning this property as a safety hazard. You can file any complaints in my office. I'm hearing Trump. Oh, wow, a cave. This ecosystem is interesting. Shut up. You're not on the science team. I don't care what you have to say. What, is that your buddy? Like the two of you were going to convince me of something? I'm a scientist with a shotgun. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Well, this is smaller, but it's about as good as the last apartment. It's darker. I guess it- And it's wet. It's just gonna have to do. The hell is that? A spore? Well, that can't be healthy. Maybe it'll be better if I drain the floor. What's this? Oh, a basement! Let's take a look! Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this up. You know, if I had known my next apartment was going to look like this, well, first off, I'd be very confused and would mostly want to know what I needed to do with my life in order to make this not happen. And I don't think I'd have an answer. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Turn down Black Mesa? Oh, yeah. I'll just go work at another well-funded facility looking for pure physics work. Theoretical, no less. Oh, we've got a bit of an infestation. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, I should reload. I forgot I took some goodies from that canister. Yeah, that was really crazy, wasn't it? I mean, how did that thing even eat? There weren't enough things there to sustain it. Maybe it extracted something from the air? Oh. I'm not sure, Dr. Freeman. I, I'm just... I'm at a loss for words, really. Oh, not again. Not again! Okay, well, it blocked the exit. Okay, well. Well, the shower fucking sucks. Maybe you should have worn a helmet like all the other scientists. Maybe it would have helped. Yeah, this is. I shouldn't be breathing any of this. Oh, barnacles. It needs to be purified with fire. 
But I don't really have the equipment to handle the- Oh, you squatter asshole! Yeah. Yeah, thanks! I was hoping to get that taste out of my mouth! Blah! Blah! Oh, hey! Another one of these canisters! Yeah! Some grenade rounds, magnum bo- Well, I'm glad it is here! Hey, you know what I think happened? I bet we really fucked up with the teleporter initially, and it scattered everything everywhere. Like, his ammo is here, and his head is floating out in space, his legs somewhere else. Whoa, what's this? It's like an unholy dumbwaiter. I bet it would make a funny sound if I ran a stick alongside it. So how do I out- Wait a minute, it's that pillar. You know, the pillars that are outside. Oh wow, okay. Operate. Oh! That almost took my head clean off! Wait, no, that would have taken it off sloppy. It would have popped from the sheer pressure. Woo! Okay, I get it. This is the servant's entrance. So once I learn how to domesticate these bastards, this might come in useful. Although that's a big assumption that I even can domesticate these freaks. Okay, uh... Stay still. I don't get it. Why is it taking so long this time? Oh, that's it. Wait, no, that's too fast! I can't get the- Oh my- Hold on. Oh my god, I'm too high! No, stop that! I can't keep my balance! Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Deep breaths. I do belong on a pedestal, but metaphorically, goddammit! Okay, this is a lot better. A lot better. Now I'm a little lower, and I can move my feet more than four inches. Just like that. I could sleep here if I wanted to, though I really don't want to do that. My life is all about adjusting expectations. Like, I might think I'm upset about something, but then I'm falling to my death or having my face bit off, and then I'm getting shot or frozen or drowned. It's just this big merry-go-round of a new horrible crisis taking my mind off the last one. So I might think, oh, I have it bad now, but it's all been bad. Nothing's worse, it's just different. I'm going for it. Oh, oh, that was good. What's that island over there? It's glowing, therefore it must be important. I think that's how the hierarchy works around here. Whatever glows has more status. Maybe it's a teleporter. You know, that's kind of nice in an awful way. I keep finding teleporters from one alien hell to the next. Like the last one was horrible, but the first one wasn't that bad. Oh wait, that had the quake. That was awful too. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that other island probably doesn't exist now. Oh, uh, take cover. Who's shooting at me? Wow, this guy's motivated, huh? Oh, that was an amazing shot. I'm not It was. Well done. How do you ensure I can claim skill on that one? That's fate making up for all this shit. But yeah, it's an interesting dilemma. Though I'd rather see it as a thought exercise and not live it. Oh. So if that is a teleporter, do I go in it and risk a worse hell or just stay here with the hell I know? It could take me straight into the stomach of another god spider thing. How did that exist? There wasn't enough food. Maybe it ate space krill. Oh. <sighs> Are you kidding me? I thought I got all of them. Go back to... Where the hell did you come from anyway? Oh shit, the island must be birthing them. That's what those red pits are. Oh, I've got to get... Maybe you are right about that, but we haven't seen other creatures coming out of those red pits. You know? Get out of here then. I can't stay in this hell. I'll have to watch my back forever. Oh, I could try and ride the mana rays. Sure. What's that quote? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, one, it's a stupid saying because it doesn't account for other variables. Look at slot machines. Is that a creature or is it a plane, a mechanical, biological plane of some sort that the uh, aliens use? Or is that thing actually sentient? Is it alive? Wow. And two, 
That implies everything is not insane. Wow, guys, that was Freeman's Mind episode 63 and 64 made by Accursed Farms. Wow. Uh, new creatures. New creatures. Uh, terrifying. Uh, there's some creatures that look like trees, but they're actually, you know, living, killing machines as well. Um, there was some sort of spider with some sort of sack under it looking like it carries a lot of babies inside it or something it just looked nasty it was fast it was dangerous it was terrifying and it was big you know uh and dr freeman has been using so many of his weapons the grenades the uh what was it called again the the rifle uh with the grenade launcher uh the uh missile launcher the c4 you know he's been using everything that he has um, on his dis at his disposal except for the the leaf blower he didn't use the leaf blower and I know he has it and he also has the acid gun that he got from uh, the research facility so yeah he still has two other weapons that he has not used but uh, it was really worrying to see that this thing was impervious to projectile weapons for the longest time you know um, and yeah Dr. Freeman is just further into this alien world in terms of the facilities that they have uh, floating in the middle of nowhere uh, you know it's very very alien looking like almost disturbing uh, disturbingly looking you know especially with, like with those trees and then the bulbous uh, white things with four branches you know connecting to the surface you know and uh, just the very landscape of this area it, it was just so weird and just nasty looking um, they really did a good job the <laughs> the game developers really did a good job here uh, it's so convincing and yeah he also found a pool of water that was glowing in a very peculiar color and also making some sounds I'm not sure if you guys heard it but I did um, I wonder what's that about um, and yeah, Dr. Freeman has now jumped into another portal. Where will it take him? We don't know. We'll just have to wait until Friday to see what happens. And yeah, guys, I guess that's it. That's it for tonight with uh, Freeman's Mind. Remember, if you want to check out the original videos as well as Accursed Farms YouTube channel, the links are in the description below. If you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Wow. Whew. 63 and 64.